LegalAid Link Calculator. To begin with, we will need to register for an account. Fill out the requested information. If your country uses metric, check metric as the default. Click I agree to terms and register to submit. You will receive a confirmation email. Open the email and click the link to confirm your account. Now you can log into your new account. From the home screen of the account, you can see there are three different modes. Point to point, point to multipoint, and point to multipoint C. Point to point mode. Point-to-point -point mode is used to calculate backhaul links. You will configure one transmit and one receive device. Click on PTP mode. Name your transmit location. Enter the physical address or GPS coordinates of your transmit location. And click search to locate. This will plot your transmit location on the map. Now set up your received device by first giving it a name and then entering the physical address or GPS coordinates. Click search to plot the second device on the map. Choose the devices for the link. For this link, we're going to run with the 523 rapid fire. Let's adjust the antenna height for at least 20 feet off the ground. Now click Calculate Link. The results show three very important pieces of information. The signal level, the distance of the link, and the line of sight path. The optimal signal level is between negative 35 and negative 55. For this link, we will need to increase the height of the receiving side to create a clear line of sight. Adjust the antenna height and then recalculate the link. You can see that the signal level has slightly improved, however, the line of sight is still blocked. Let's adjust the antenna height again and calculate the link. The signal level has now greatly improved. They are still just the tip of a point blocking the line of sight. One final adjustment to the antenna height by 5 feet and recalculate the link. Now with a good signal level and a clear line of sight, we can click on the expected throughput link. The expected throughput is broken down by channel width. The higher the channel width, the more power and the higher throughput. If we look at the map, we can see that the link has been plotted onto the map. We can zoom in and move around on the map to see the location.
The satellite view will give you a clear view of the structures in and around the link. From the results page, click on Public Link. You will receive a URL that you can share with your colleagues and clients. Another option is to save the link to come back and edit later. You can also create a PDF report of the link to download to your computer. The Save Links tab will give you a listing of all saved links. Just click on the Open Link option and you can edit and pull up the link. Let's run a slightly more complicated PTP link. Enter the Legal Wave office as the TX link. and search for the location of plotted on the map. This time, we are going to do a link between the Legal Wave office and Six Flags. Enter the Six Flags address. And then click on Search to plot it on the map. Let's use the rapid fires again and add a minimum antenna height of 20 feet. Then calculate the link. At almost 29 miles, we have exceeded the maximum distance for the 523 rapid fire. The signal level is also a negative 146.44. Not possible. Also at the antenna heights, there is no line of sight. Let's change to the connectorized 5N rapid fire and adjust the antenna gain to a more powerful gain. We must also increase the antenna height to deal with the line of sight problem. Increase the antenna height and then recalculate the link. We have resolved the distance problem, however, we still have a line of sight problem. Let's adjust the antenna height again and recalculate the link. As you can see, the signal level is progressively improving. We need to adjust the antenna height again. Recalculate the link. We have made it above the line of sight. We can now calculate the maximum throughput. The link is now a viable link we could play with the antenna gain to see if we can improve the overall throughput. Check the throughput again. There is very little to any difference. Let's increase the gain to 46 and recalculate the link. Check the throughput again. The antenna strength is too strong and we cannot get a good throughput calculation.
let's adjust the transmit power to see if we can resolve this issue. Adjust the transmit power from 28 to 15 and recalculate the link. Now check the throughput again. The results will determine if you want to pay the extra money for the larger antenna for the minimal increase in throughput.